Hey guys, Justin Bryant here from SelfMadeSuccess.com, and a lot of people ask the question when they want to start a business online, whether they should do network marketing to make money online. Um, network marketing, if you don't know, is basically when you can sell products, but you can also sponsor people in a downline and make commissions off them as well. So you make a commission off product sales, you make a commission off bringing people into the company or recruiting you make a commission off of the sales that the people on your team do as well so I want to dive right into a few things that I think you should keep in mind if you're thinking about doing network marketing um, for one thing it's not for people that are lazy or couch potatoes or that just don't want to do any work a lot of people that get into network marketing think they can get rich quick or they can make money really fast and be a millionaire overnight that's not how it works it's not gonna work don't even try if that's what you're into um, it's also not for loners if you're not into talking to people if you're not into helping people or leading people or guiding people it's probably not for you if you're more of a loner you like to work by yourself you don't want anything to do with other people you know, network marketing, you meet a lot of people and you are always communicating with them, whether it's social media, phone, text, whatever. Okay, another thing to look for, um, if you're looking to join a company, look for um, products that have been proven, that are already out, that are getting sales, that people are buying. Don't, don't go to some company that says they're going to have a product and you don't know for sure. Don't go to a product. Don't go to a company that doesn't have any products and that is just doing nothing but recruiting people. Um, things like that can, you know, make you lose some money. And even though you know network marketing is a rel relatively cheap business to start, um, which is what attracts a lot of people, it can still put you in a hole if you join the wrong company. So here's some alternatives to network marketing. If you feel like you'd rather work alone, if you feel like you're not into, you know, network marketing, usually you have to pay monthly payments and uh, pay for the products to sell them. If you want to, if you don't want to do things like that, you can try affiliate marketing on a site like ClickBank or Amazon affiliates. Um, you can do ad revenue from sites like Google AdSense. Um, you can um, Create your own digital products like software, plugins, info products, ebooks. You can do your own physical products and sell them on like Amazon um, or eBay or something like that. You can do your own membership sites where you charge a monthly fee to give people information or to create a community about some kind of niche. Uh, you can do sponsored posts and videos if you build a large audience on social media or on your blog or things like that or a video channel people will pay you to for product placement they'll pay you to tweet an advertisement things like that um, you can do fantasy sports if you're into sports a lot or if you just are really good at number crunching you might do okay at that it's not an easy thing to do but you can try it um, you can try stocks if you're into number crunching again um, and you like to work alone, just like to uh, find patterns and predict things. Um, you can try website flipping. If you uh, have time and you have income already and you don't have to worry about, you know, you know, putting food on the table. Um, if it takes you a few months to build up a website, it could even take you a couple years before you sell it. Kind of like flipping houses, but you're building up websites instead of houses. Um, people do pretty well with that and things like GoDaddy auctions um, or you can do consulting you can work from home still and you can uh, just you know get on the phone with people things like that you can help them with your expertise in a certain field do things for them maybe you can set up websites for people things like that if you're going to do network marketing avoid these things if at all possible um, Avoid pre-launches. Pre-launches are basically when you can recruit people into a company, but the products aren't available yet, and um, you're not going to get paid yet until it's full launch. Don't do that. Never works. Products that no one buys. 
Um, if your company is promising certain products but you're not real sure if you can trust them, don't go for it. If they're trying to sell something that people just don't buy, um, you know, or is just too competitive, don't try it. Um, if they have unproven leadership, if uh, for one thing, if you go in a company and the the leaders don't know anything about marketing, which is kind of the whole point of this business, then you might want to stay away from them because they probably won't give you many tools to help with your marketing. Uh, don't join someone without knowing that they're good at what they're doing. Um, usually you can look for social proof, you can look for um, how many people are on their team, maybe you can talk to them first before joining. Um, don't, don't join someone that won't help you. Um, don't join your friend or family member, that all kind of goes together. Um, most of the time, if you try to start something with someone else and you get in under them, it's not going to work out for you. Most of the time, people don't stick with network marketing. So if you're one of the people that's really into it, you're good at it, you're going to stick with it for the long haul. Don't get under someone who you might know personally because most of the time, um, you know, probably 75% of the people just don't stick with it after a few months and quit. Then it puts you in a bad position because you're on your own. And then joining something that you aren't passionate about, if it's a nutrition company and you could care less about nutrition, don't join them. If you're joining a coffee network marketing company and you hate coffee, don't join them. You're going to need to sell something that you are passionate about if you're going to stick with it for the long haul and if you're going to be an effective salesman. Okay, so if you want to join network marketing, my ultimate opinion is it depends on the kind of person you are. If you understand that you're starting a real business, a lot of people don't consider it a real business, or they, you know, there's arguments back and forth whether it is or isn't. It is a real business, assuming you get on a honest company, but you have to work hard just like any other business. You have to put in the hours, and it's not something that you just you know take from zero to a million dollars overnight and if you don't like working with people it's not for you don't do network marketing do something else like one of these alternatives I gave to you if you really want to work online and you're a loner or something don't you know try one of these alternatives don't do network marketing you probably don't want to do consulting either if you're that way um, if you don't have much money to start a uh, you know more expensive business if you don't have enough money to put into your own products, things like that. Um, if you don't have enough money to do stocks or website flipping, uh, things like that, um, then this can be a great way to start. It's actually a really good way to get started if you're a first-time entrepreneur, never started a business before. Network marketing can be really good for beginner entrepreneurs. It might not be something you you are going to do much long term with but you'll learn a lot of valuable lessons as an entrepreneur starting out in network marketing okay so it kind of depends on your situation the company what kind of person you are and um, where you're at as far as what you can invest in a business okay but if you meet those requirements if you stay away from things like these network marketing can really work out for you right so that's about it that's my opinion on network marketing if you like the video, please like it, subscribe. I'll give you a lot more valuable information and videos going forward. I have other videos I think you'd love to check out. Um, don't forget to leave us a comment if you want to add to what you think about network marketing or what your experiences are. Um, we'd love to hear from you. Or if you want to just tell us what you thought about the video, don't forget to leave that in the comments as well. And other than that, don't forget to visit us at selfmadesuccess.com. Or we'll have a little more in-depth information, some products that you can try out, some free uh, resources you can use, and just, you know, if you want to take it to the next level from some of the things I teach on YouTube or other avenues, um, that's the place you want to go. Or if you want to just contact me, that's another place you want to go to. And uh, other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. I hope you have a great day.